come to a party with me? Come on, it's just a party. A great excuse to cut it loose. Rose, and do what you feel. Hey, just for the night, no holding tight. Let go. Let's go. The new musical Dogfight is having its world premiere at Off-Broadway Second Stage Theater, directed by Tony winner Joe Mantello. We're here to chat with the show's talented cast and creators to learn more about this unlikely love story. Give me a little scene setter. Where are we? Where is the world of Dogfight? Okay, well, first of all, the whole show pretty much takes place in one night. Um, it's a bunch of, a group of us, uh, the Marines, get stationed in San Francisco the night before we go off to Vietnam. They decide to throw this big party they call the Dogfight where they find the most unfortunate um, ugly girl they can and bring her to this party and whoever has the ugliest a date wins the competition and um, the marine you kind of follow is Eddie Birdlace who is desperate looking for someone and is running out of time and wanders into this diner and finds Rose Fenny, a waitress who's just kind of awkward and shy and an, an odd gal. Rose really changes me throughout the show and we and we both have this positive impact on each other. What made you want to be a part of working on Dogfight? I think first of all it's a really interesting special story that's uh, a challenge to execute on the stage um, and also thrilling to execute on the stage and then uh, my particular role playing the ugliest girl at the dog fight is a thrill I mean who wouldn't want to be a toothless hooker I wanted to write something that was heartfelt I wanted to write something that had emotion in the story you know those are the kinds of musicals I'm drawn to and those are the kinds of stories I'm drawn to so when I saw the movie I fell instantly for the characters for uh, the sort of predicament that they find themselves in and the way they're each stuck in their own role and somehow find each other and that helps change them <laughs> You're a young military guy who's also singing and dancing, yes. which is a tricky thing to pull off. How has that? How have you made that work so well? Um, you know, it's a very it's a very unique style that uh, Christopher Catelli has put together for us, and it's not too dancey. We still keep our characters as Marines. We actually had a Marine advisor mm -hmm. come in, so he was in the Marine Corps, and he was able to show us authentic moves that Marines did, the way that they stood, the way that they you know walked, the way that they marched. You can't have these military guys like running and jetting across the you know across the stage. It's just not um, it doesn't feel right. So he knew that it had to have like a lot of muscle and punch to it. Some kind of time. Working with Joe Mantello, just just give me a brief rundown on what that feels like. He's like working with the principal of Broadway. I mean, he's like, first of all, he doesn't doubt himself, at least in front of us in, in any way, which makes you feel so safe. We're telling the story that we wanted to tell, and that feels really good, and I think having Joe around to guide that, the person you turn to and say, is this working, is this not working, the person who gets to be the captain of the ship, we know we're in good hands. We, I can't think of a better captain. What has been the most exciting part of this for you? Well, I think the most exciting part about um, creating a new musical is that it is a new musical and that, you know, you're not really going off anything that anyone else has done before. So we get to create these characters from scratch. Benj and Justin's music is so amazing and to get to like kind of let people hear that for the first time is so exciting. But it's also, I think the book is so beautiful and, and, and so well laid out. I feel like our piece is really honest and I think that our piece uh, speaks to a lot of different people. There's uh, something really exciting about this show because of the youth involved. I think it's um, very rare that young writers get such a, a an opportunity on such a grand stage. To have collaborators that make that lift your work yeah, and, yeah. and lift it out of what it has always been and make it something that comes alive on stage is so thrilling. Then to hear orchestrations, then to see it staged, I mean, then it, it comes alive in this way that is truly indescribable. so much more to be before it's over.